welcome to another GCSE Computer Science video on data representation with me, Mr. Goff, for MrGoff.com. Today's video focuses on data compression. Data compression is when we take steps to reduce the size of a file. There are two key types of compression, lossy compression and lossless compression. Lossy compression, as its name implies, completely removes some of the data from the file that it compresses. It tries to remove data that is likely to be unnoticed. However, when the file is reconstructed, there will always be some data missing from the original. Some examples of lossy file types are JPEGs for images and MP3s for sound. The trade-off for the loss of file quality is that lossy compression tends to compress images and other files by a much greater amount. Lossless compression, on the other hand, reduces the file size by less, but removes no data at all. It works by identifying and summarizing patterns in the data. When the file is reconstructed, it will be identical to the original file. Some examples of lossless file types are TIFF files for images, WAV files for sound, and zip files com for compressing all types of files. We can use data compression to reduce our storage needs, to allow us to send large files by email that fit within the file size limits set by email providers, and to transmit files much faster. That concludes this introduction to compression. I hope you'll join me again in our next video where we'll be looking at some specific compression methods run length encoding and Huffman encoding. I've been Mr. Goff for MrGoff.com. Bye for now.